Video. Um, it 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 certainly has been a while, I suppose. <laughs> About two and a half months, I guess, three months. I couldn't do the advent calendar. Um, there were a lot of things going on, and I would like to explain it a little bit, tell you about the future of this channel, and it's it's good to be back, to say at least. Now let me begin with December. At the end of November, I still uploaded a video. Um, wasn't very much, just a tiny little video about something algebra, I think, if I remember correctly. Or was it an integral? I can't remember, to be honest. This is how long it has been. But then December rolled around and I wanted to create the advent calendar. I already had it planned out, just like every year. It's the best time of the year. Um, the advent calendar, a lot of ad revenue, um, money from Teespring and so on. But I just couldn't do it. I got sick at the start of December. It was the RS virus. It's similar to Rona Chan. I just couldn't do anything. I had 40 degrees Celsius fever and I was lying in my bed four days straight and I couldn't do anything. Um, I was lying on my couch in a fetus position. I just couldn't move. Um, everything was hurting. It was a terrible time and this moved on for like three weeks. I didn't feel like anything. And then it was time for Christmas already and I didn't put out any video in December and that was seriously terrible. If you are wondering where I'm sitting right now, this is my dining table in my new house. We finally, uh, we are finally done building the house. Um, we moved in at the start of November and it, it feels great to be living in a house to do your own thing, not to be dependent on a shitty landlord or something of that sort. Um, but it was just terrible to not post anything in December. Just to give you an idea in numbers, if I don't go through the whole advent calendar thing, I miss out on about $10,000 in December. All sponsors dropped me except for Brilliant. They are still in on the game. They say, well, take your time, get your mental and bodily physic health done um, into a good shape. But all the other sponsors, they just outright dropped me. Uh, didn't make nearly any money in December. It was terrible. So my financial situation also changed quite a bit. Um, I'm still doing good, but we could still use that money really because with a house and all the other stuff, just life in general, there are a lot of bills to pay and it's a lot of stuff to pay, <laughs> a lot of stuff. So missing out on that money seriously hurt me and it also didn't do my mental health very well to not produce any content. So yeah, I was also feeling pretty down the whole of January. Um, I knew that I had to create videos, but I just couldn't do it. Same on my wood channel. I have so many videos recorded already, so much stuff. I have recorded. I want to produce videos. I want to put voiceovers over it, cut it and the like, but I just couldn't do it. I didn't know why. Um, it was just a motivational thing, I guess. But I'm feeling better at the moment. I feel like I could create videos. And this is where I would like to talk about the future of the channel. Um, all the other things pass aside. Now, as far as video production goes, I want to keep it at two videos per month at the moment. I think this feels like a healthy amount right now. This is the amount of videos that Brilliant is comfortable um, sponsoring at the moment, so they are going to be Brilliant sponsored in a normal case. But if I find time to put something else out, I'm going to do so. Now, what is the type of content that I'm going to create? Um, this is rather difficult at the moment and I'm, I'm going to show you why. This is also a little bit of a motivational thing. And let us go down into my new studio, shall we? So let me just take you with me. This right here is the living room. You see, I built all of this by myself. The couch table, this right here is the dining table, a huge one. Um, videos hopefully out at some point in the near future over on my wood channel. This right here is just stairway. And then we're going to go down into the basement where all the nerds belong. And yeah, this is where the studio is going to be to the left. Um, 
Before going into my studio, let me just spoiler, um, it's, it's rather underwhelming just because, well, I told you it's a motivational thing. I just dumped everything from my old studio into here and it's just a whole bloody mess. I don't even have lights installed yet. Um, there's a lot of things I would like to do here, um, making it look and sound good, install my blackboard which is lying on the ground right here, can you see it, this right here is the pillar, um, the aluminum extrusion, yeah, so there's nothing down here really, which is a terrible situation for a guy posting most of their stuff recorded from a blackboard which is mounted to the wall. So yeah, I need to figure this out somehow, <laughs> motivation, motivation, get it back Jens, come on. So seeing what my studio looks like at the moment, you can certainly also see why I couldn't find motivation to produce videos. Because my, my, um, my ways of creating videos is kind of restricted at the moment. So what shall the future content be? So for the first part, um, it's going to be mostly meme review type of things. Not exclusively meme reviews, but stuff that I could do from my PC or just talking to a camera. Just looking at the camera creepily. Um, kissing the camera and the like. So this is the type of content you have to deal with for the start. But also, you're going to see videos here on this channel and also on the other channel where I start renovating my studio down there, making it look and sound good, as mentioned before, installing the blackboard vlog kind of things. And then we can get back to regular content. And what do I mean by saying regular content? Well, this is also kind of difficult because um, you might have noticed um, a downgrade in difficulty over the years here on this channel, um, especially since I started teaching at school. Thing is, I have mentioned this several times before, but to the new subscribers and all the other people joining at a later point in time, this channel has always been kind of a diary um, of things that I am researching at the moment. And some videos were more like diarrhea, they were just shit posts. That was a great transition to diarrhea and this brings us to today's sponsor more diarrhea um, <laughs> so yeah um, since I started teaching at school my main research so higher mathematics abruptly stopped you could say and I'm only doing things that are not that high of a difficulty anymore so I need to find a balance bit between um, fun, quirky, um, not so hard mathematics but also higher level content and it's a hard thing to do, it's a hard thing to balance this um, part of mathematics into some kind of videos and if I look at other math channels um, they also face one big issue, namely long form content. Everything above one minute I'm talking about um, just the relationship to YouTube Shorts. YouTube Shorts is where the YouTube environment is at the moment and if you produce anything that's longer than one minute it's gonna be hard to keep up. Either you have a channel like Veritasium which already has an established audience and just brings a million of views and just getting itself into the algorithm more. It, it's hard to produce long-form content at the moment. It's just borderline impossible to get a good amount of views on longer videos and especially if you have niche content like I do, higher mathematics or just mathematics in general, it's even harder to get yourself higher view rates and this is where things like sponsors also come in. Um, sponsors want to see many views and this is just not, not something you can realize at the moment um, with this type of content on YouTube. So. I am probably also going to step more into the shorts game, even though I do not like it. I hate stuff that appears on TikTok and also the YouTube shorts section. I never liked it, even though the How Real Men series got millions upon millions of views. It's just not what I enjoy. I enjoy talking to the camera for extended amounts of time. but. I need to go with the flow and now we not only have the shorts fun but you can also get money via shorts regularly and this is where the YouTube environment is at the moment and you need to adapt and if you don't adapt you are going to be dead in no time at all. So expect a few shorts coming your way too. And this is basically where I'm at at the moment and I hope this didn't disappoint you guys as, the, as being the first video in like three months. 
Um, I certainly feel like producing videos once again and I also want to focus more on the woodworking channel. Some older videos that I have posted suddenly start gaining a bunch of views, just a tiny little bit and I hope this is going to grow into a bigger channel at some point such that I can find a nice relationship between the mathematics and the woodworking channel working together such that we post one video per week on each and every channel making a nice amount of money such that I can keep my um, just my regular life going, um, not missing out on anything, getting new equipment for my um, for the studio down there for the mathematics channel um, and also for the for my workshop where I work my wood all day long. So yeah, um, gotta find a nice balance at some point. But at the moment, the focus lies on posting anything in some kind of way, and this is going to be the start. And I've got to promise you here, and this is more promise to myself, such that I stay motivated and not fall down into this demotivational asshole of hell. I gotta produce two videos per month now, most definitely. Gotta get back to a, a rhythm. Just like in the good old days, I posted like <laughs> three to four times per week. What the fuck? How did I manage that? I can't imagine anymore. Um, and most importantly, I don't want to get in this kind of create a burnout anymore. I think this was the first sign of burnout that I had here and I think this elongated break that I took was the right decision and I hope you guys um, like that I'm back and I hope this channel is not guy not oh, <laughs> being stupid here. Haven't talked English in a while um, so I hope I'm not going to fall back into I don't know what I wanted to say. I'm being retarded here. I thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys are having a fun fucking day. And I wish you guys a flammable day too. I hope you were staying safe in the last months. And leave a comment with, um, with emotional damage down there below if you have watched up until the end. And up until the next video, I wish you guys a flammable day and I hope going to see you back with some more mathematics related content here on this channel. Can't wait to finally get my arse off the couch and back to video making. See ya!